in this recording we're going to talk about the monetary policy and fiscal policy and what we are going to do is that first of all we'll pick up the monetary policy and how does monetary policy work okay so for example there's an open market purchase of bonds by central bank so central bank what it does it buys bonds and it buys bonds from whom it buys bonds from public so public give bonds to central bank central bank give money in return to the public right so in this process nominal money supply increases in the market right that is m bar increases price level is given when price level is given so m bar by p bar rises that is real money supply increases in the market real money supply increases in the market when real money supply increases lm curve shifts out lm curve shifts out shifts out from what from lm to lm dash is that right from lm to lm dash it shifts out from there so equilibrium moves from point e to e dash right interest rate that is rate of interest falls from i not to i dash output increases from y not to y dash why does output increase because when interest rate falls investment increases and hence output increases right i have not talked about the adjustment process at all but i have just talked about on a very superficial way what's going on in the economy so when open market purchase happens central bank buys bonds from the public when it is buying bonds it is giving money in return to the public nominal money supply in the economy will increase price level is given to you so real money supply which is m bar by p bar also increases it shifts the lm curve out from lm to lm dash equilibrium increases from e sorry shifts from e to e dash if you look at it interest rate falls from i not to i dash and output increases from y not to y dash why output has increased because interest rate has fallen investment has increased output has increased that is one thing well, let's talk about what is happening in the adjustment process okay we haven't talked about that what is the adjustment process what is the adjustment process here well if you look at it you start with the initial equilibrium point e right so you start with the initial equilibrium point initial equilibrium point then money supply increases because of open market purchase you know that money supply has increased so and this will create excess supply of money right at the initial interest rate this will increase this will uh, create the excess supply of money with this excess supply of money with the public public will buy other assets right other assets means assets other than money prices of other assets will increase right prices of other assets will increase so and yield on other assets 
will fall right so yield on other assets will fall so asset markets they adjust immediately or not immediately rapidly so you move from point e to e1 you move from point e to point e1 here clear now e1 is the point on the lm curve the new lm curve it means that money market is clearing on e1 that is money market is in equilibrium that since point e1 is on the new lm curve it means that money market clears right at point e1 there is an excess demand for goods why because at such a low interest rate if you look at it people will not be holding money right so there's an excess demand for goods so i think I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry so what's happening is this is not because of the low interest rate it's because i mean this point is falling below the is curve here and this we have seen in our earlier lecture uh, in macro one that all the points here will be excess demand for goods right so at point even there is an excess demand for goods now this excess demand for goods is there and uh, when there is a decline in the interest rate interest rate is declined from this point to this point and at the initial or at the given or at the initial income level why not when interest rate has declined investment will increase and hence what will happen your demand will increase when demand will increase what will shopkeepers do they will run down their inventories when they'll run down their inventories output will expand right so output expands and when output expands what can you do i mean you will move up along the lm curve is that right so i'm repeating this again what's happening is at point e which is an initial equilibrium point money supply supposedly and now money supply increases when money supply increases there is an excess supply of money people will buy other assets prices of other assets will increase yield will fall and the economy will move from point e to point e1 at point e1 there is an excess demand for goods as this point is lying below the is curve here right now at the low level of interest rate at the initial level of output what will happen investment will increase demand will increase when demand will increase people will run people means shopkeepers will run down their inventories and they will increase the people uh, shopkeepers will run down their inventories and hence output will expand and output will expand along the lm curve here from this point to this point from e1 to e dash and hence output will expand from y not to y dash that's one thing okay so increase in the money stock when the money stock has increased that is when money supply has increased it causes two things one first interest rate will fall okay as public adjusts its portfolio as public adjust its portfolio and second 